Hello and welcome to video number 8 of the 2018 to 2022 Technician Class Amateur Radio Question Pool. My name is Michael Dickerson, KC9PHK. Today we're going to cover sub-element T5C as well as T5D. This video series is presented on behalf of the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club located in southeastern Illinois. The first section we're going to cover is T5C, which covers electronic principles, capacitance, inductance, current flow in circuits, alternating current, definitions of RF, definition of polarity, DC power calculations, and impedance. T5C01 says, what is the ability to store energy in an electric field called? A. Inductance. B. Resistance. C. Tolerance, or D. Capacitance. Correct answer is D. Capacitance. T5C02, what is the basic unit of capacitance? A. The farad. B. The ohm. C. The volt, or D. The henry. Correct answer is A. The farad. T5C03, what is the ability to store energy in a magnetic field called A. Admittance B. Capacitance C. Resistance or D. Inductance Correct answer is D. Inductance T5C04 says what is the basic unit of inductance? A. The column B. The farad C. The henry or D. The ohm Correct answer is C, the Henry. T5C05, what is the unit of frequency? A, Hertz, B, Henry, C, Farad, or D, Tesla? Correct answer is A, Hertz. T5C06, what does the abbreviation RF refer to? A, radio frequency signals of all types. B, the resonant frequency of a tuned circuit. C. The real frequency transmitted as opposed to the apparent frequency. Or D. Reflective force in an antenna transmission lines. Correct answer is A. Radio frequency signals of all types. T5C07. A radio wave is made up of what type of energy? A. Pressure. B. Electromagnetic. C. Gravity. Or D. Thermal. Correct answer is B. Electromagnetic. T5C08. What is the formula used to calculate electrical power in a DC circuit? A. Power equals voltage multiplied by current. B. Power equals voltage divided by current. C. Power equals voltage minus current. Or D. Power equals voltage plus current. Correct answer is A. Power equals voltage multiplied by current. T5C09. How much power is being used in a circuit when the applied voltage is 13.8 volts DC and the current is 10 amperes? A. 138 watts. B. 0 0.7 watts. C. 23.8 watts. Or D. 3.8 watts. Correct answer is A. 138 watts. T5C10. How much power is being used in a circuit when the applied voltage is 12 volts DC and the current is 2.5 amperes. A. 4.5 watts. B. 30 watts. C. 14.5 watts. Or D. 0 0.208 watts. Correct answer is B. 30 watts. T5C11. How many amperes are flowing in a circuit when the applied voltage is 12 volts DC and the load is 120 watts? A. 0 0.1 amperes. B. 10 amperes. C. 12 amperes. D. 132 amperes. Correct answer is B. 10 amperes. T5C12. What is impedance? A. A measure of the opposition to AC current flow in a circuit. B. The inverse of resistance. C. The Q or quality factor of a component. Or D. The power handling capability of a component. Correct answer is A. A measure of the opposition to AC current flow in the circuit. T5C13. What 
is a unit of impedance? A. Volts. B. Amperes. C. Columns. Or D. Ohms. Correct answer is D. Ohms. T5C14. What is the proper abbreviation for megahertz? A. Lowercase m, capital H, lowercase z. B. Lowercase m, lowercase h, capital Z. C. Capital M, lowercase h, lowercase z. Or D. Capital M, capital H, lowercase z. Correct answer is D. Capital M, capital H, lowercase z. T5D covers Ohm's Law, formulas and usage, components in series and parallel. T5D01. What is the formula used to calculate current in a circuit? A. Current equals voltage multiplied by resistance. B. Current equals voltage divided by resistance. C. Current equals voltage added to resistance. Or D. Current equals voltage minus resistance. Correct answer is B. Current equals voltage divided by resistance. T5D02. What is the formula used to calculate voltage in a circuit? A. Voltage equals current multiplied by resistance. B. Voltage equals current divided by resistance. C. Voltage equals current added to resistance. Or D. Voltage equals current minus resistance. The correct answer is A. Voltage equals current multiplied by resistance. T5D03. What is the formula used to calculate resistance in a circuit? A. Resistance equals voltage multiplied by current. B. Resistance equals voltage divided by current. C. Resistance equals voltage added to current. Or D. Resistance equals voltage minus current. Correct answer is B. Resistance equals voltage divided by current. T5D04. What is the resistance of a circuit in which a current of 3 amperes flows through a resistor connected to 90 volts? A. 3 ohms. B. 30 ohms. C. 93 ohms. Or D. 270 ohms. Correct answer is B. 30 ohms. T5D05. What is the resistance in a circuit for which the applied voltage is 12 volts and the current flow is 1.5 amperes? A. 18 ohms. B. 0 0.125 ohms. C. 8 ohms. Or D. 13.5 ohms. Correct answer is C. 8 ohms. T5D06. What is the resistance of a circuit that draws 4 amperes from a 12 volt source? A. 3 ohms. B. 16 ohms. C. 48 ohms. Or D. 8 ohms. Correct answer is A. 3 ohms. T5D07. What is the current in a circuit with an applied voltage of 120 volts and a resistance of 80 ohms? A. 9600 amperes. B. 200 amperes. C. 0 0.667 amperes. Or D. 1.5 amperes. Correct answer is D. 1.5 amperes. T5D08. What is the current through a 100 ohm resistor connected across 200 volts? A. 20,000 amperes. B. 0 0.5 amperes. C. 2 amperes. Or D. 100 amperes. Correct answer is C. 2 amperes. T5D09. What is the current through a 24 ohm resistor connected across 240 volts? A. 24,000 amperes. B. 0 0.1 amperes. C. 10 amperes. D. 216 amperes. Correct answer is C. 10 amperes. T5D10. What is the voltage across a 2 ohm resistor if the current of 0 0.5 amperes flows through it? A. 1 volt. B. 0 0.25 volts. C. 2.5 volts. Or D. 1.5 volts. Correct answer is A. 1 volt. T5D11. What is the voltage across a 10 ohm resistor if a current of 1 ampere flows through it? A. 1 volt. B. 10 volts. C. 11 volts. Or D. 9 volts. Correct answer is B. 10 volts. T5 
P5D12. What is the voltage across a 10 ohm resistor if a current of 2 amperes flows through it? A. 8 volts. B. 0 0.2 volts. C. 12 volts. Or D. 20 volts. Correct answer is D. 20 volts. T5D13. What happens to current at the junction of two components in series? A. It divides equally between them. B. It is unchanged. C. It divides based on the va on value of the components. D. The current in the second component is zero. Correct answer is B. It is unchanged. T5D14. What happens to current at the junction of two components in parallel? A. It divides between them dependent on the value of the components. B. It is the same in both components. C. Its value doubles. D. Its value is halved. Correct answer is A. It divides between them dependent on the value of the components. T5D15. What is the voltage across each of two components in series with a voltage source? A. The same voltage as the source. B. Half the source voltage. C. It is determined by the type and value of the components. Or D. Twice the source voltage. Correct answer is C. It is determined by the type and value of the components. T5D16. What is the voltage across each of two components in parallel with a voltage source? A. It is determined by the type and value of the components. B. Half the source voltage. C. Twice the source voltage. Or D. The same voltage as the source. Correct answer is D. The same voltage as the source. Alright, that concludes video number 8 of this series. I would encourage you to, if you have not, that you would subscribe so you're aware of new videos as they come out. Please feel free to like and share our videos. As a reminder, these slides may be used for non-commercial use for amateur radio license preparation and amateur radio classes with reference to the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club as a developer. Also, we encourage you to visit our website www.claycountyradio.webs.com Thank you.